Hello everyone, today on the Doctor Who Guide I am super excited to be unsealing and taking a look at Doctor Who The Collection Season 26, the limited edition UK Blu-ray box set kindly given to me by John Fisher. So thank you so so much, I'm so excited. Let's take a look and see what's inside. Alright, so here we have Doctor Who The Collection Season 26, the limited edition UK Blu-ray box set all sealed. This was sent to me by the incredibly generous John Fisher and you can watch that unboxing video linked in the card up above and in the description down below. Let's get unsealing. All right, so here it is, completely unsealed. Just take a look at that beautiful, beautiful artwork by Lee Binding. Oh my gosh, this is what the front looks like with the J card. This is the binding. This is the back of the J card. And this is the interior binding. This is what the top looks like. And this is the bottom of the J card. All right, let's take it out of the J card. Oh, that looks amazing. So this is what the front of the J card looks like. This is what the right side looks like. This is the left side. Underneath, we have more information about the set and a beautiful beautiful illustration of the TARDIS flying through space. And here is the back with a ton of information, as well as this incredible artwork by Lee Binding depicting a rather grim moment in season 26. We can see a list of all four stories on the back here with 14 episodes, newly restored for Blu-ray. And everything in that white square is all of the new added bonus material. I mean, absolutely incredible. And we have more information down below, which you can pause and read. Here we have the beautiful box set itself. The clean artwork and none of the text on the front with the seventh doctor there looking absolutely spectacular in his brown jacket, his season 26 outfit. In the center here we have all the monsters and villains from the season. At the top giving us a very creepy smile is the master and to his right we have light from ghost light and right on the bottom row is the ancient one. In the center there is Morgane. On the left one of her knights and on the top left we have the destroyer of worlds. The binding is just about two inches wide and so we have this window of the artwork from the front and down below the logos as well as the BBC logo. And on the back, oh my goodness, we have this beautiful artwork of the TARDIS flying through the Seventh Doctor specific time vortex and uh, we have of course those comets going at high speed as the TARDIS travels through the vortex. This is what the interior binding looks like, this is what the top looks like, and that's the underneath. If we open it up, we can take a look inside. Oh my goodness, would you take a look at that booklet holder? That is incredible. It's from the Curse of Fenric. Absolutely spooky, raining, just reflecting the, the whole tone of the story. And we have all of those Hamivores in the background. And we have the Seventh Doctor there holding what I believe is, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, the TARDIS key. And it looks like he's trying to believe in the TARDIS to hold off the Hamivores. So that paints quite the scene, quite the picture. We'll open that in a second. Over here, we have disc one with Battlefield, which has the Seventh Doctor and Ace holding a rather special sword. I won't give away what it is if you haven't seen it yet. And of course, all of the discs in the background have the jewel design that is embedded in the hilt of this very special sword. So that's the red and the gold that you're seeing around the outside that's going to be reflected in all of these. Disc 2 has both Brigadiers featured in the episode, including the original Brigadier Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart and to his left Brigadier Winifred Ben Barrows. So that is amazing. This disc gets a 12 rating. Disc 3 has Ghost Light and is rated PG, and the disc art features Gwendolyn Pritchard on the right there and Josiah Samuel Smith on the left. Disc 4 has the Curse of Fenric, is rated PG, and features Ace on the disc art. Disc 5 also has the Curse of Fenric and features quite a terrifying scene as one of the characters in the episode holds on to his faith and tries to avoid a grisly fate. Disc 6 has survival on it and features the seventh doctor there holding a bunch of cat food. We'll have to watch the episode to make that make sense. And it is rated 12. And here we come to disc 7 which has the bonus disc which has bonus features on it. It's rated 12 and has the TARDIS. Oh my gosh. And then if we take disc seven out. We can see in the background here this incredible artwork of the seventh doctor. So there we have all the discs. Let's take a look at the booklet holder. So if we open it up, it opens along the TARDIS doors, which I absolutely love, and reveals here some beautiful artwork, a larger version of what we saw in the back, and it's going to be a larger version of what's on the booklet cover itself. Inside is the season 26 TARDIS console, which looks absolutely stunning. You also have 
have the floor here and the ceiling above. Those TARDIS rundles on the wall, his jacket hanging on a coat hanger there, and you can see one of the locations from season 26 on the TARDIS console itself. There's just so much attention to detail here in this artwork. Here we have the cover of the booklet with the beautiful, beautiful artwork by Lee Binding. If we open it up, we can take a look at pages two and three with this beautiful picture of Sylvester McCoy and Sophie Aldred. Here we have pages four and five, six and seven, eight and nine, ten and eleven, twelve and thirteen, fourteen and fifteen with beautiful artwork from Ghost Light, sixteen and seventeen, eighteen and nineteen with this beautiful artwork from The Curse of Fenric, twenty and twenty-one, twenty-two and 23, 24 and 25, 26 and 27 with this incredible artwork from Survival. Oh my gosh, that split down the middle with the claw marks. That's incredible. 28 and 29 and 30 and 31 with a list of credits of all of the wonderful people who made this release possible. Oh my goodness. And then on the back, we have this beautiful picture of Sylvester McCoy and this continuation of the artwork from the front, which looks absolutely stunning there in its two-page design. Normally this comes with promotional material on some of the other releases. This box set did not. Thank you so much to John Fisher for getting this for me. It is so expensive now. I do not know how you found this, so that is just incredible. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It is so amazing to have my sixth and seventh Doctor shelves here, seasons 22, 23, and 24, and then 26. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, keep growing your knowledge collection and connection with other Doctor Who fans. Albert the Adipose says hello, and we both hope to see you in the next video. Bye!